Hi, I'm Dave Andrews, and today I'm going to show you how to convert AVI, MPEG, or MOV files to DVD. Let's go to our computer. And in the case of MOV files, there's a little bit of uh, preparation you have to do. There's a program you can download that is called MPEG Stream Clip. If you just search Google for that, it's squared5.com. And it's a video converter. If you download the Windows version, that will allow you to convert the QuickTime MOV files to either AVI or MPEG, which we are then going to import into Windows Movie Maker for our DVD. So I'm going to show an example of that. I'm going to launch this, uh, this program, which is MPEG Stream Clip. And I have it stored on my computer. Video. And then Downloads. And then I will find MPEG Stream Clip. Basically, if you run that installation there after downloading it, that will start the program. So here's MPEG Stream Clip. And I'm going to find my MOV file by going to File, Open Files. I have a sample on my desktop. This is a QuickTime movie file. And I can play it here as a preview. I'm going to save this as a as a uh, AVI file, or rather, it yeah, has an AVI file, because that's easy to import. So I'm going to click on this Export to AVI, and you can make several adjustments to the uh, quality of the video. I just go with the defaults myself, and all you have to click down there at the very bottom is Make AVI. And you have to decide where you want to save it. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And that has just encoded this QuickTime video as an AVI file. So now let's launch Windows Movie Maker. Just do a search above your Start button there for Movie Maker. And you'll see here Windows Movie Maker. I'm running at a low resolution, so I get a little warning there. No big deal. Now we're going to click Import Media. We're going to go to our desktop. And we're going to find that AVI file we just created and import it. So here's our video. I'm going to drag it down here at the very bottom to our uh, video timeline. I'm going to preview it. And that's how you import AVI files and MPEG files. We had to do the conversion because you can't import QuickTime here. So to publish it to a DVD, go to File and click Publish Movie and select DVD. And that will open DVD burning software, which if you put a blank DVD into your DVD burner, we'll burn a DVD for you. I'm Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to convert AVI, MPEG, or MOV files to DVD.